What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now if you're running asset across a rally and your steering wheel is not working like see if, if you look at the steering it will not respond even if it's set to racing wheel device settings and if I go to input bindings and see none of the imp inputs are actually mapped here in the game and and by default it's actually set to automatic as you can see over there. So now what we'll do here is that we'll just first connect the wheel make sure it's turned on like that with the red light should blink. Uh, by the way this is the Trustmaster T150 Pro and it, it also comes with the uh, clutch pedal in the bottom and go first of all select this to racing wheel and now here's the fun part if you're using any other generic devices like direct input devices for like this is a, a handbrake which i'm using i can also use it as a gear shifter so if i use this you have to assign this on the racing wheel tab then only it will work if you assign this on the gamepad or the mouse or keyboard function it will not work so let me show you here first i'll start with the handbrake so uh, this is the handbrake column if i click here and if i just press this it's been assigned right there you see that on the racing wheel column because they have actually they have actually made this more easier as well this time and for steering just click on the steering and now see now it's actually working it's actually locked at 270 degrees i'm not sure but on if it's locked like that go to your trustmaster settings go to your control panel and just check the game sometimes lag very badly and now go to check and see the property it's set to 270 degrees set this to 540 yeah that's it now click on ok now done now done now the wheel loaded 540 so now if i again come back here in the game it will a little bit malfunction so again go to your axis now do it all over again see now it's showing a 100 percent that's a full rotation this is a 540 degree for rally 540 is actually great and we'll just configure other like the acceleration brakes and clutch and gear up gear down if you're comfortable you can also use this one for gear up gear down and first gear I don't think there is any other for neutral there's no option for neutral okay manual respond let's just press one button like that so for car start stop engine so there's no button for start engine so I'll click it and that's all you can just uh, do your settings like that and I'll just quickly get back in here and just quickly start a race the race doesn't take long to start go to rally single stage start it actually loads very quickly this is the fun part i'm filming this on a camera this is my z fold 5 so this will actually be okay one more thing i forgot the resolution uh, this is this is this will look very very weird i forgot to change the resolution this is on a triple screen by the way but anyways uh, the main video the main part of this video is to let you configure your steering wheel with assetto corsa okay it is already on running on triple screen. <laughs> I thought something else. Okay, let's just start the stage. Now let's see how the magic happens here. Let's ignore all the things here. Okay, it will not pop up. Okay, it's a rain stage. Let me just cycle the camera. Okay, this, this is a good camera. So let me just start the engine first. Let me just turn on the volume. Start engine. Okay, that that's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah, and we'll just it's actually way too loud. Okay, so starting procedure. Now I'll just start like that. Pressing the handbrake. Two, the lag this is unplayable I'll, i'm working on it to fix this but this is i think uh, horribly optimized for amd cards so just ignore that and let's uh, let, let me show you there okay, that's all for this video the game just crashed <laughs> but anyway uh, i hope you really got the point so till then see you on my next video